afternoon, uh, and I would like to thank that I have the opportunity to talk here about the results that we have achieved in the last two years uh, by doing autopsies and bioptic examinations of uh, 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 histological specimens in Reutlingen in Germany. Um, actually, it was only three months after the uh, vaccination campaign started that the first relatives came to me and asked me if uh, I could uh, reevaluate the uh, autopsies that were done by coroners and by other pathologists because they did not believe in natural death causes. <clears throat> so, um, by now we have 75 autopsies that we have evaluated and uh, uh, all people that died in timely connection with the uh, vaccination and uh, increasingly we get uh, surgical and bio-optical bio specimens and we are by 50 such specimens now and they are increasing. Uh, now, of course, from the beginning, when we saw the first cases, uh, we realized that uh, there was a new uh, uh, therapeutic vaccine or, uh, that was a new way of action on the body. So uh, it was clear that there had to be some new uh, disease entities that we had to discover, actually. And uh, it was a toxin uh, apparently not coming from the outside where you uh, examine the contents of the stomach or the uh, serum, but it was a toxin produced by the body itself, so we had to look in, for the toxin in the tissue, in the cells, and that meant that we had to develop a method to uh, demonstrate this by immunohistochemistry in the <coughs> tissues. Uh, so uh, <coughs> it came very clear from the first cases that I looked at. First, I was alone with this, uh, that uh, this developed into a scientific project because uh, of these uh, many new uh, and very alarming uh, things that we saw. And by now, we are about 10 uh, scientists internationally, we are a loose group co 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 collaborating in different fields. Uh, there are chemists and physicists and uh, bi uh, biochemists uh, working together just depending on the question. And uh, our review revealed that actually in 77% of these 75 uh, uh, autopsy persons, the vaccination had a, 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 an important impact on the death process. Now, the, you have to know that the older the get, the uh, most, more complicated the uh, process of death is, but definitely in these 77%, it was a major contribution. And uh, this, uh, of course, uh, is uh, very different from uh, the uh, first reports on the autopsies, which uh, mo 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 many of them had been done without histology. And uh, in uh, uh, the first diagnosis was there was a uh, natural cause of death in 91%. So uh, only in 10%, the possibility of uh, a vaccination um, uh, damage was discussed. And uh, important is in our series that these were all, uh, uh, in 80%, these cases were what we call now the SADS syndrome, the sudden adult death syndrome. So they dropped that at home on the street in the car. And uh, the, the advantage for us was that there are practically no uh, therapeutic effects that we have to look for. So if you have uh, uh, people who have been uh, artificially uh, res uh, res uh, uh, respiration, of course you have changes in the lung from the uh, uh, therapeutic methods. So uh, 
some basic fact, of course, is there is an overlap between uh, the true viral infection and the vaccination effects on the body. But they, this overlap is very small because, uh, first of all, there are differences in the composition, like the uh, vaccine has adjuvants, it has con contamination, uh, and uh, uh, second, the entrance in the body is different because the natural infection comes through so the nose, the throat, and uh, the airways. And this is uh, an epithelium that is immunocompetent. There are immune cells already there waiting for the virus to enter. Now, if you inject uh, the, uh, uh, the vaccination uh, into the muscle, uh, and uh, finally it always gets into the vessels uh, and into the blood, so uh, if you do this, this is a, uh, these are both uh, tissues that have no immunocompetence. So there's no uh, 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 defense by the body uh, primarily. And so it's the endothelium that is the first uh, a target of uh, the vaccination. And as we have endothelium in all organs, except for the teeth and some other structures, all organs are affected, and actually we could demonstrate the uh, <coughs> spike protein in practically all organs, mainly in the vessels. And the first picture here shows you on the left side a normal a small vessel in the uh, heart muscle. And you see these uh, spindle cells that uh, uh, surround the, ve the, the vessel like a wallpaper. They are very delicate, and in the middle, in the lumen, there are erythrocytes and some leukocytes. On the right side, uh, you see a, <coughs> a victim of the vaccination, and you see the, uh, the small vessel is destroyed. The uh, spindle cells, you can still see these are the remnants of the endothelium, and the, uh, the dark dots are the lymphocytes that are attacking them. And uh, I, could, I could show practically in all organs similar pictures referring to the preceding presentations also in the testis, in the ovary, ovary and uh, other organs. So <clears throat> uh, the science and uh, public attention has mainly paid to the acute, acute uh, the deaths and uh, adverse effects of the vaccination. And, uh, the <coughs> okay, and, and uh, we focused on the long-term uh, effects. And, and uh, on nine. Yes, and this is, uh, and we focused on those structures that are n not renewable. So this is the heart. We already heard about the myocarditis, and you see the destruction by lymphocytes on the, on the right side, the demonstration of the spike protein. And here you can see this is a needle biopsy from the brain, and you see in the middle a, a, a vessel with a dense infiltration of lymphocytes, and the necrosis and the bleeding in the surrounding. And you can see that also the, uh, 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 on the uh, upside, uh, uh, left upside, you see the, the vessel, we see uh, infl 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 inflammatory infiltrate that is positive. And then you can see also that the nerve cells express the spike protein, and I personally would uh, prefer to use my nerve cells for thinking and not for producing the spike protein. So uh, the, another uh, permanent structure that is not so well known are the elastic fibers. And the elastic fibers are a main component of uh, the vessels. And here you can see that there are defects in the uh, uh, structure of the main uh, order, the main uh, vessel of the body. You, I think even a lay layman can see that there's, uh, there's a hole practically in the middle, which we call a media necrosis. 
And here you can see the specimen of the main uh, vessel of the, the aorta. And on the left side, you see the wall is still coherent. And then there's a split. And there are actually two uh, parts of the wall. And in the middle, the dark is blood. And this person died of uh, a rupture of the aorta. And we can find the same defects in the small vessels of the brain. You can see the dark is the, uh, uh, the elastic lamella. They are clumped together and uh, fragmented. And you see uh, uh, on the left side below you, uh, these elastic lamella are, mi are missing, actually. And this is a microaneurysm. And uh, finally, the uh, one more structure that contains elastic lamella is the skin. And you see on the right upper side the normal skin with the elastic fibers, and this gives uh, the uh, uh, young appearance of people which have a good skin. And here you, on, the, on, the, uh, on the whole picture, you see uh, a 30-year-old man, and you can see that these elastic fibers are dramatically reduced. And they are not only directly under the basement membrane re reduced, but also in the subcutaneous tissue. You can see, again, normal and uh, destruction. So to come to the conclusion, there are uh, non-regenerating elements uh, lost forever, and these are the heart muscle cells. Uh, this results in physical witness, fit, uh, uh, weakness, uh, to handicap and temporary loss. And, and, and actually, we had one patient who was an athlete who committed suicide because he could not participate in any uh, uh, competitions anymore. Then the second are uh, the nerve cells. These resulted in multiple neuro neurological failure and death, a temporary loss of speech, heavy pers personality changes, and unconscious uh, periods. And uh, the third, and not so well known and not thought about so much until now, are the elastic lamella. Now, the elastic lamella are never replaced after puberty. So if they are lost, they are lost. And what is the consequent in arterial vessels resulting in media necrosis, rupture, and death, and scar? And if there's a scar, the elastic of the aorta of the arteries are going down and the blood pressure rises. So in the skin, this results in premature aging. And I have, so to say, since people know I have a telephone, they call me and I have so, uh, some kind of a telephone counseling. And one of the most uh, frequent complain now is that uh, somebody calls and says, says well, my, my husband, he looks about 10 years older since he has been uh, vaccinated. And I think I know why. Loss of elastic lamella. So I think these are devastating uh, uh, findings uh, for, for the long time uh, 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 future because in 10 years, nobody will think that maybe the blood pressure rise may have resulted from the lesions in the aorta. So I think this is really alarming, and that is why we have to go to the public. Thank you.